casting into the wind here, putting this ripple on here, which is going to be really, should be really good for a, uh, you know, jerkbait bite, honestly. Oh, I got one. Got one. Got one, guys. Fish on, fish on. Four pound test, and I got a little bass. A little bass on the BFS. Baitcaster finesse. Look at him. When you're fishing ponds, you match the hatch, okay? I was saying earlier, like a Vision 110 jerkbait is a fantastic jerkbait, but that Vision 110 might be as long as this little guy right here. Going down to that smaller jerkbait, okay? And more and more companies are making these, but if you can't find them, instead of looking for a bass jerkbait, look for a crappie or a trout type of jerkbait. So this tells me that there are bass in here. The bait I'm using is the Z Splendor 2-inch Jerkbait by Eurotackle in the natural green color. BFS rod that I'm using is the suppressor made by Old 18 Outfitters. It is a 7-foot ultralight rod. The rod is paired with a Daiwa Tatula reel with 4-pound sunline. Ooh. Oh, God. oh, oh, there was one right there. Oh, my goodness. That was insane. A little bass just came out of nowhere and just smoked it. Almost like as soon as he got close. To there it is. Got it. Got it. Oh, four pounds test. Four pounds. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. All right. Well, jerk base what they want. Dude, as soon as it got close to shore, he hammered it. Man, there's another one with him. He came after that one pretty. Oh, yep. Got him. Oh, get in shore. Oh my goodness, he swallowed that thing. He's little, but he's number two, guys. Again, match the hatch. It's like BFS gear is the, is the thing for the wind today. Now, especially with these treble hooks, if you're using like super light line like this and you have treble hooks, I really do suggest you get the drag set. So when you when you set the hook or if it pulls really hard for some reason, you know, you're not gonna get in a situation where it bolts and it just destroys, it just tears your line. You know, I'm going super small right now, but by doing so, I'm also matching kind of what kind of what they're eating right now are these smaller minnows and a lot of these ponds you know that's the ticket they're eating minnows they're eating minnows and bluegill oh got one got one got one right there he came right out from under that log right out from that log number three and then all the baits that i use tackle and equipment guys it'll be in the episode description down below what is interesting is the pattern. They're up tight to the bank. I have not caught a single fish casting out. 70 degree day today. It's, it feels like 70 degrees, probably more about 60. But these fish are underneath something like a log to give them warmth, or they're sitting right up on that break line. So really nice fish. I've caught a bunch of them and I haven't even moved spots. All right, let's keep going. Let's try it again. Again, American Creeper. This is the four inch trash fish. Dude, and it, What's funny is like, this is actually a bottom bait. I think it's honestly why people have such a problem with swim baits is they don't really understand that, you know, you have different swim baits, like some you burn, some you wake, and some you just, you bump bottom. And this is a bottom bumper. I'm just trying to hit every little thing. Got one, there it is. Guys, there we go, got one. Oh. Look at him. And they say little fish won't smoke a swim bait. Look at that. Down the gullet. Multiple casts. That fish, that fish was pointing towards the shore, just warming himself up. Within two cranks of the, the handle, boom, he was there. And he swallowed that thing. It's so funny. He was smaller than some of the jerk bait fish, and he swallowed the whole thing. But, uh, again, I think the hardest thing with swim baits is, is like trying to match it the right thing. If you're fishing a bunch of ponds and things like that, you know, that four inch thick bait, it's got enough thickness to it. I think big ones like it, but it's soft enough and small enough that little ones can also, you know, get it in their mouth. Oh, got one. Bigger one, I think. I have drag set on this thing, so I have no idea how big it is. Oh, he's a little guy. He's a little guy. I'm gonna play with him a little bit more. Dude, he freaking choked it. Look at that. Little jerk bait, guys, matching the hatch. Every cast that has been productive has been right next to the shore. Got one. Dude, he swallowed that one too. 
different angle. But again, BFS gear. There's another one in there too. Another one in there too. One mouthed it, and then that one just came out of nowhere and trucked it. He did not, he was there competing. Terrible cast, come on, don't bite me in the ass. Come on, where are you? I saw you, I saw you, there's two of you. Got something. What do I got here? Oh, oh, we got a fighter. We got a fighter. Look at that, head first. You think he wanted that thing? You think he wanted that thing? Freaking beautiful.